huge belly but not fat? Cirrhosis societies, having a noticeably large belly might often be attributed to fat accumulation, but what if it's not fat at all? This scenario often pertains to a medical condition known as ascites. Ascites involves the accumulation of fluid in the peritoneal cavity, giving the abdomen a distended appearance. This condition is primarily associated with cirrhosis, a serious liver disease characterized by the replacement of healthy liver cells with fibrous scar tissue. Ascites is not merely an aesthetic concern but a symptomatic manifestation of an underlying health issue, often liver cirrhosis. The liver, damaged and unable to function properly, begins to leak fluid into the abdominal cavity. This fluid is typically a protein-rich serum that collects, causing the abdomen to swell. Unlike fat accumulation, ascites results in a belly that feels tight and may be painful to the touch. Cirrhosis is a gradual process where liver cells are progressively replaced by scar tissue, a phenomenon that results from chronic injury to the liver. Common causes include long-term alcohol abuse and chronic viral hepatitis. Poor dietary habits can also contribute particularly those that lead to prolonged inflammation in a fatty liver. Over time, as the scar tissue accumulates, it impedes the liver's ability to function, affecting processes such as detoxification, protein production, and digestion. Initial symptoms often include a noticeably enlarged abdomen due to fluid accumulation, persistent fatigue, and weakness as the liver struggles to filter toxins. Jaundice, characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes, along with easy bruising or bleeding due to impaired protein production for blood clotting, are also common. Additionally, swelling in the legs and ankles due to fluid retention may occur. The management of ascites and cirrhosis typically requires medical intervention to prevent progression and alleviate symptoms. Treatment strategies might include reducing sodium intake. High sodium levels can exacerbate fluid retention, worsening ascites, using diuretics, these medications help the body eliminate excess fluid through urine. Reducing the volume of ascites, natural remedies, and lifestyle changes. In addition to medical treatments, certain lifestyle modifications can support liver health and manage symptoms, lowering carbohydrate intake, reducing carbs, especially refined sugars and grains, can help manage blood sugar levels and reduce liver strain, abstaining from alcohol. Alcohol can be particularly harmful to a damaged liver and abstaining from it is crucial balanced diet, a moderate intake of proteins and fats, along with a high intake of cruciferous vegetables, can support liver health, intermittent fasting, this can help improve metabolic health and reduce the burden on the liver, patients, recovery and improvement of liver health can be slow, often taking up to three years or more depending on the severity of the damage, living with ascites and cirrhosis is complex and managing these conditions requires careful, consistent medical oversight. It's important to work with healthcare providers to tailor a management plan that's appropriate for your specific health needs. Additionally, for those exploring supplemental support, consulting with a product advisor might provide further personalized recommendations to aid in managing your condition. Recognizing the signs of ascites and understanding its connection to cirrhosis is critical. With appropriate medical care and lifestyle adjustments, individuals can manage their symptoms and potentially halt the progression of liver damage.